G'day and welcome to 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be having a look at the histology of the gallbladder. You can see it here. Uh, so let's start our 3 minutes. Okay, so the gallbladder is a little bit unique with comparison to the rest of the gastrointestinal tract in that instead of having four layers, it's actually only made up of three layers. It's made up of an innermost mucosa. We can see this got quite a, a highly folded uh, mucosal structure. And then instead of having a submucosa, it actually has a muscularis. So it has an inner circular outer longitudinal layer of muscularis uh, made of smooth muscle. And then we have a serosa or an adventitia, depending upon on where the section's been taken from. So if it's a serosa, it has a mesothelium, which I think this region does, or if it's an adventitia, it's a connective tissue. If we have a look at a little bit uh, more detail, uh, obviously the first thing that you notice is we have these sort of um, mucosal projections that look quite similar to, to villi, or they, they tend to be a little bit straighter. Like the rest of the gastrointestinal tract, um, it's lined by a simple columnar epithelium. Um, it doesn't have a very prominent brush border. The, the surface cells uh, in the gallbladder are dome-shaped and they have very short microvilli. And, of course, the, the main function of the gallbladder is to store and concentrate bile. And, of course, the way it does that is it uh, reabsorbs water. Now, one thing that is very characteristic of the uh, gallbladder that will help you identify it is it has these sort of folds uh, within it uh, or uh, little tunnels which are lined by epithelium and these are referred to as Rokitansky Ashoff sinuses. That's a bit of a mouthful but basically it just means that it's a highly folded type of epithelium and these little tunnels which we find within the epithelium have these little uh, epithelial linings associated with them so they look like there's actually little tunnels running through uh, this mucosa and we can see them sort of uh, throughout this and we don't have that appearance uh, with the rest of the gastrointestinal tract and, and certainly not the small intestine which sometimes the uh, gallbladder can be mistaken for it's a nice little one there. The other feature that um, the gallbladder doesn't have that the rest of the gastrointestinal tract does is a muscularis mucosa. So there's no muscularis mucosa. We simply go from the mucosa, which is the simple columnar epithelial lining, lamina propria here, and then straight into the muscularis, consisting of an inner circular outer longitudinal layer. And then we're out here, we're in the connective tissue, and then out here we've got a bit of a serosa happening. Uh, so um, not that easy to see, but we can be able to find a mesothelium there. So most of the features to distinguish the uh, gallbladder are these strange sort of mucosal projections, a little bit like villi, but we saw that it looks quite different, doesn't have brush border, there's no goblet cells, no muscularis mucosa, straight into a muscularis, and then an adventitia on the outside. Anyway, that's a quick overview of the histology of the gallbladder, and I hope you found that useful.